I'm so pleased to be able to bring this friend of mine to you this morning, and she's a friend of yours, too, and it's Carol Allen. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wish it wasn't that we always only see you at concert time. I know. Well, (laughs) let's all go have lunch. Yeah. Sometimes on Monday nights, if rehearsals are are going... uh, a teeny tiny bit scratchy, oh. I, I will just say, listen, why don't we all just stop right now and go to Chili's <laughs> and we'll just all go eat and um, everything will be better. You know, we, we just need to remember that we are people loving what we do and uh, all is well. This concert I know is particularly chosen and probably it is kind of shiny now. You're seeing it on the TV screen, a little bit shiny, but um, just to glance at it, I'll fly away in big letters, and that's the title and the theme. And it is only Saturday, June 12th, and Sunday, June 13th, in the Sulphur Springs High School Auditorium, which we used to call the Civic Center Auditorium. Uh-huh. And to get tickets, singerscount.org. Is that right? Correct. Singerscount.org. And um, look, I. I know we are coming out of a really hard year and people have been afraid to gather mm-hmm. and all that. We we are really surging past that, I believe, <laughs> especially in Texas and and uh, all over America, but I I want so much for people to hear this concert. I just will tell you it is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous concert. It's full of uh, rich sounds and enthusiasm and uh, joy and encouragement. Mm -hmm. And we need that. We do. We do. And and remembering that um, all, all is well. All is well. And the best is yet to come. Well, we have come through a dark time. And not being able to gather as human beings are naturally prone to want to do, it, it was tough. Mm-hmm. Now the joy and sort of celebration of coming out of that mm-hmm. is here. Mm-hmm. It's something we prayed for. Absolutely. Prayed and prayed for. And and so this is a spirituals concert. We've just sort of uh, put it under that broad category. <clears throat> and there are, in fact, uh, quite a number of spirituals. There are three of what I refer to as foundational hymns, and they are in big, wonderfully orchestrated, uh, oh, they will just move you so much to hear them. And the the lyrics to these old hymns are how we tell ourselves who we are uh, as believers. These these lyrics are um, quite wonderful. And then there's, there's gospel. And you will absolutely hear, um, I'll fly away, oh glory, oh, yes. I'll fly away. You'll hear that, uh, a bunch of the other gospel songs. So truly, um, a little bit of everything for everybody. When the saints go marching in, my soul's been anchored in the Lord. One of the foundational hymns, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah, and it says in there, Lord, feed me till I want no more. Just beautiful, beautiful hymns. A Mighty Fortress is Our God. That's one of the other foundational hymns. Uh, Martin Luther wrote that. And uh, a lot of people know the story about that hymn. Very famous, very, very beautiful. My God is a rock, leaning on the everlasting arms, coupled with lean on me, lean on me. That You'll, you'll recognize all of that. We're going to go down to the river to pray. Uh, I'm bound for glory, and uh, not to just mention one of our soloists, uh, but Marlon Chisholm is the featured soloist uh, with the men on a spiritual entitled, I Know I've Been Changed, and oh my goodness, uh, it is worth the price of the ticket. And abide with me and farther along, so those are um, some, if not most, of the titles, and just just imagine sitting for um, about 90 minutes and just being awash in this kind of glorious sound, and and relaxing into the fact that our our God cares, and we are not alone, and we we are the champions. We have come through this. <laughs> we are the champions. In fact, my letter that I always put at the front of our program, uh, I I addressed the readers of that letter as 
Uh, greetings, champions. I feel it so strongly. Uh, we have been pounded on, and we have come out the other side better. So if you're listening to Carol, and you are not a member of Northeast Texas Choral Society or have not shared in that, you then don't know about her pep talks. <laughs> so <laughs> she always gives one. You just had least. one. <laughs> yeah, you just had one. That's a sample of if you should uh, feel oh. the uh, need to become a member. And you're always looking for singers. We are always looking for singers. Um, <clears throat> we are... We are pleased to be singing with about 65 uh, members this semester, uh, down from our 95 to 100 singers, just because, you know, we came through a rough year as Choral Society as well. We prepared for spring, canceled. We prepared for Christmas, canceled. So we... Um, you know, we've we've been under the heel of this thing as well. And it was a lot of prayer over, you know, decisions being made through that year. Plus, oh, yes. this this had been cooking on the back of your mind for a, over a year. Yes. This spiritual concert. Glad you mentioned that, Enola, and I know I shared that with you. So all, almost two years ago, this music was put, ordered, gathered, and put in place for that spring concert. And, of course, it was canceled. But isn't it interesting that God, uh, in all his wisdom and omnipotence, knew that this was the spring we would need to have this kind of uplifting and encouragement, and um, we got this. We can do this, and we are doing this. It makes me think because of something that was said during Memorial Day downtown by a speaker that Memorial Day is more than hot dogs and burgers and a spin around the lake. And so we got yeah. that. We got that with Memorial Day, if that's the way that you observed it. Mm -hmm. Now, to, in answer to prayers, we yeah. have something even more enriching. Yes, yes, it, it is. And, and uh, this, that's just a huge part, I think, of the, of the uh, makeup of this concert the the whole putting together part of it happened before we ever understood the significance <laughs> of it and uh, isn't that just like our god to um, bring us to a place where he says and now this is what i have for you and so and trust me always the message is trust me always always the song titles that you were telling us uh, give us a hint of of what you'll experience in the concert I also want to talk about the singers, and, or get you to talk about them, because as you mentioned, Marlon, and there are so many others who, who carry solos and come forward to, yes. to, to carry parts of the concerts that you've been doing for 20-plus years. Uh, actually, this month begins year 24. Really? Yes. Now, many of your singers... Amazing. Yeah, it is truly amazing and blessed. Many of your singers are singers in other parts of their life. Yes, almost all of our singers sing in a church choir or mm -hmm. they sing in a praise group or um, some of them have uh, ministries that they go here and, and there with and just singers. You know, Enola, very well that when you are a singer, there's nothing else that will scratch that itch, absolutely nothing else. And eventually you will find your way to a place to sing. And that's, of course, why we always encourage Look, if you've said to yourself over and over again, I know I could sing with them. I know I could do that. Come. Mm -hmm. Come to audition. Come to audition. We'll have, we'll have a little visit. I'm really happy that you are announcing Choral Society concert as we come back from COVID. I'm happy that the uh, Symphony League is announcing our Independence concert on July 3rd. Yes, yes. And Wha many things uh, are wonderful. coming back into place. It is. And, of course, you know, the arts are um, the, the things that bring beauty to our lives and, and bring a kind of uh, marvelous structure so that the rest of our life goes well when we have the arts that bring us beauty and joy. Uh, it's just so, so important, so important. Many communities focus on various aspects of the arts. Now, maybe we do music a little bit more than some other towns may do. Some others do different sorts of arts, but I'm glad that we have that as a focus. Yeah, you know, it's interesting about music and singers, uh, particularly music in general. Uh, we, we are just 
a singing people. Of course, all over planet Earth, but I'm telling you right here in Hopkins County and the three or four counties that surround us that we draw singers from, we are singing people. That very first year of Choral Society, the very first semester when we were flat and zero and had no money and no understanding of what was about to happen, I put one tiny ad in our local newspaper and uh, two weeks later, I auditioned 102 people. Really? Yes. That's unheard of in a town our size. And 98 of those singers came to sing with us <laughs> our first semester, uh, 98 of them. So Choral Society has, at this point, a long and rich history, uh, wonderful. It's all about the singers. Listen, it's all about the singers. There's just something magical that happens when you get that many voices together. Uh, there's, there's a fellowship, and um, there's, there's an old saying that when singers sing together, they synchronize their breathing. And they've done studies on this, and it's, it's kind of amazing, but they literally breathe together, together and their heart rates become the same heart rate. And it's, it's magical. How interesting. And spiritual. And so, so this, and I, I want to say this also. I, I was thinking this morning, what in the world can I say? Look, if, if you're one of those people who says, oh, man, I never go to a choir concert. Are you kidding me? I don't do choir concerts. That's just, that's for other people or old people or little ladies or whatever. Listen, this is not a, a choir concert. This is um, a, a big group of men and women, a lot of whom you will know, who have worked for months and years together, uh, bringing you entertainment, live entertainment, first of all, and an experience with words and sound and emotion and meaning that will direct your thoughts and your hearts in a way for almost two hours that you had no inclination that you needed. But when you get up and leave the auditorium, um, you're, you are smiling and sometimes you're wiping away tears and, and you know you've been changed, which is one of our spirituals. I love that title. And you are de-stressed. Yeah, absolutely de-stressed. And, you know, they say, uh, <laughs> they say you can't do anything right if you have too much cortisol in your system. Oh. Guess what causes cortisol? Stress. Mm. Mm. Stress. So come de-stress with us. I love that <laughs> thought. Thank you, Enola. I know we're forgetting important things. Well, we got to tell them about tickets and how to attend and when exactly. Yes. So uh, KSST and our other radio station will have giveaway tickets. So call in. Be sure and call in. I don't know how that will be structured, but okay. you, you will tell them. Tickets are at the door. Same price as they are online. But don't wait. Uh, just don't wait. Buy your tickets from all the singers or at the banks or buy them online or buy them at the door. But come, come, okay. come. And it's at the auditorium, Civic Center Auditorium, high school auditorium mm -hmm. now. I know. <laughs> I, sorry. And 7, 7 p.m.? Saturday night at 7 o'clock, Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Okay. So go to church, go, go get some lunch, and come and prepare to just be be blessed a bucket of blessings <laughs> for you the i'll fly away concert coming up june 12th and 13th only two performances two performances and i like we don't have but one minute left but i like the saying that you'll see on our singers t-shirts sometimes that are worn to rehearsal singers count and singers do count and if you're a member you will get a singing and music lesson every single time you go to rehearsal. <laughs> new stuff. Yeah, new things that you'll learn. It's fascinating. Yeah, yeah no as, wonder oh, they sure. stay as members for a long time. For sure. Well, Carol, as we get ready to close, let me just tell the people if you will call 885 6060 when we hang up at 830 here, <laughs> I've got a ticket for you for the first two different callers who call it 885 6060. And any closing thoughts from you? 
You know, I, I sign every letter and every email and, and many texts with the best is yet to come. I've done that half of my life. I truly believe it. And uh, the, the next be best thing is about to happen. And in this case, it's the concert, I'll Fly Away. So come join us. Um, you, are, you are important to us. Thank you very much, Carol Allen for all that you do in our community and for this concert coming up on June, uh, June 12th and 13th. Thank Northeast you, Texas Choral Enola. Society. Yes. Thank you and thank KSST for all the years of support. Oh my goodness, we could never do it without you. We enjoy it. Now we're listening for the phone to ring.